Hello YouTube, it's Kos Juludo here. So, uh, in case you haven't heard, apparently Disney's all of a sudden bringing back Mara Jade into their canon. My reaction? Sheer apathy. I mean, from everything Disney's done so far to Star Wars, from shoehorning a resurrected Palpatine into episode 9 after bitching about how restrictive it was to work within the confines of the old EU framework and that they needed a new creative freedom to work with <laughs> as their excuse to dump the EU uh, in 30 years of Star Wars lore I might add and start over much to the chagrin of yours truly and the dismay of thousands of other long term Star Wars fans you'd think They'd be more bold with their with their uh, story choices, but of course not. Disney's Star Wars canon has unsurprisingly been backtracking this creative freedom bullshit a lot lately, especially after seeing how extremely unpopular their own original quote unquote <laughs> characters are. Uh, after everyone mocked how silly. <laughs> The Emperor's clone resurrection in Dark Empire was. Number two. The Emperor is still alive. Well, I guess not technically, see? In the expanded universe lore, the Emperor had an entire ship full of clones of himself. Younger clones of himself. So the amazing act of self-sacrifice that Vader exhibits at the end of Return of the Jedi is rendered meaningless if you follow EU lore. And why would you follow EU lore in cases like this? That's apparently a main plot point in Disney canon. Wow. And oh yeah, I remember so many people back then were, were talking about, oh, this is precisely why we got rid of the EU, why Disney had to get rid of the EU. And uh, this is, this is uh, it's just, Oh, so, so stupid. Like, this is precisely why it needed to be wiped. Where are those people now? Where are those people now? I make the same point as I always have before. They might as well have just stuck with the old EU. They might as well. Because... They've been stealing so many of its central characters and plot points since they started the new canon, thus confirming that they know their original characters suck ass. Uh, in short, they've basically killed off the EU and are now in the process of skinning the remains. Uh, they are at the point where they've realized they messed up their entire canon. Uh, by removing these essential characters, killing off characters like many of the most popular characters like Luke, uh, and any chance of a new Jedi Order, um, I mean, unless like Rey, you know, succeeds or she like quits or something like that. They said the last Jedi, so I mean, Rey probably won't be a Jedi, yeah, even though Luke was. was so. I don't know what they're gonna do, but um, they're, they're desperate for anything right now. After that, the failure of uh, The Last Jedi and Solo, uh, Disney's pulling off every trick they can, every trick in the book, doing anything they can to try and uh, salvage Star Wars and <laughs> get you to hop back on that nostalgia train. No, they even brought back the Obi-Wan, the Obi-Wan series, just so they could milk your dumbass a little more. <laughs> yeah. uh, they resurrected that from the grave. At first it was canned, and now Disney's like, you know what, we're gonna do it. <laughs> After people were like, thank God, <laughs> it's, it's canned. And Disney decided, nah, we'll try our hands at it. <laughs> okay. 
And just as with The Last Jedi, Solo, and uh, The Farce Awakens, of course, you and your nostalgia boner will ultimately be extremely let down. I can only imagine what kind of uh, godforsaken SJW plot points and backstory they're going to add to this classic character. Uh, because they can gauge what's popular, and they probably see us saying, oh, it sucks that Mara Jade is not in Disney canon, it sucks that she's no longer canon, but then after you've killed off Luke and you've killed off every other Jedi, like, if... Like, what's the point, you know? I mean, I just wonder what new SJW makeovers they're going to give her, because everything has been, um, everything Disney canon has, that's come out of Disney canon has just been SJW nonsense. I mean, what new way will Disney find to abuse and preach political nonsense uh, to Star Wars fans all over? This time, I mean, let me guess, are they gonna race swap Mary Jade? Are they gonna gender swap her? Or, I know, they're probably gonna make the new Mary Jade a, a black <laughs> eco terrorist or a lesbian trans woman, black lesbian trans woman. Yes, yes, you get the point. I mean, and that is not only does Hollywood now suddenly hate redheads for some reason, but they want to replace all redheads with black people in Hollywood, and that's a noticeable trend. But Disney is just really desperate to get back in uh, the good graces of the fans because they know, they know that we hold the power. Um, but they also won't hesitate to violate any sense of nostalgia you have for this franchise. <laughs> I mean, if The Last Jedi was any indication of that, um, they will not hesitate to do that in order to push their shitty lefty po political talking points. Uh, either way, I mean, if Disney Mary Jade is anything like the original, they'll probably still end up killing her killing her off eventually just like with Disney Luke uh, so I mean what's the point <laughs> what is the point other than to to get us hype and uh, and have, our, have us drooling over the possibility of this thing that we like coming back into canon you know <laughs> it's just so stupid like the Old Republic movie is not going to be anything like it was in uh, Legends because uh, that would be too much of an acknowledgement that their canon sucks and that they needed to steal directly from, uh, from the old EU. Uh, nothing's going to be the same. Um, so what's the point? I mean, I still say don't give them an inch. <laughs> I mean, I'm done with Disney Star Wars, uh, unless it's towards Star Wars Legends material, uh, I'm not supporting it, not monetarily, and I'm just sort of in the state of myth. I just really could care less, because I, I figured they would do this, I figured they, they would uh, bring the Kenobi series out, they're probably gonna, you know, I, I don't know if they're gonna throw some probably gonna throw some uh, lefty talking points in there as well like in uh, Brian Johnson's travesty where they have like I, I guess animal animal rights subplots in uh, the middle of, of this space chase like <laughs> that's that's not Star Wars but um, anyway What do you guys think? Do you think Disney should just take all of our money because her dur has Star Wars logo on it? Um, or do you think that we've had enough and that Disney should learn their place and be reminded that we, the fans, matter and that we have made Star Wars what it was? Let me know in the comments. 
like and subscribe. God bless. Peace out.